here we highly recommend fuse plus fuse plus is beautiful in a piece of engineering which is definitely a good thing that we do have that so now what we're gonna do is since we do have a 2d editor I'm gonna slow down time a little bit here we're gonna start developing our own audio tool okay now a few things that we definitely want to look at is all software we want to look at what has been released lately and for an audio tool the last one was at retail price of $81 okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna want $60 for ours okay now for our audio tool we're gonna go with Oddplexity Oddplexity and then it's not gonna be in-house we don't have a server I'm gonna go ahead and add Gonna go ahead and add Tiger X5. Don't need a 2D editor, but we do have one. So then we're gonna go ahead and start developing this. So, oh, there we go. And then now we have our outstanding. Now that we've pretty much got a million dollars sitting in the bank what we can do now is actually add these other this next four so let's go ahead and start developing this now we can actually spread things out a little bit and let's speed up the time So it definitely looks like we're in June. Something that I may do is if we hit 2 million here within the next month, I'll actually start hiring another two people so that way they can come in and actually help us do things. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the build done for it just so that way we can have the room needed for these two other people. Now it does look like I need to start building outward so we're going to go ahead and do that. Just because this little 4x4 four four is not going to be enough. Now, what's going on here? That's not what I want, so we're going to go like this. Now we're going to make it an 8x8. Eight eight. Actually, I want to go something like this. Let's make sure that we're doing this right. Like that. And that's four, right? So now I'm going to come back here. So we kind of want to keep our original design. Just like so. Now something that I do like about the build tools on this game is that basically all you really have to do is move furniture and then you can basically move anything that you want just by moving it. So now a few things that we're going to do here is that we're going to move furniture around to get things kind of situated here. basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it to where we can have three people now well, actually we're gonna have four people okay so I'm gonna go ahead and set up these chairs and I know what you guys are thinking well what about the, the wall here 
I'm not gonna be too worried about the wall because all I do is I collect everything and then I merge rooms just like so now something that I am going to do here is I'm going to go back to this build tool because what I want to do is make sure that this matches with that okay and now you guys are probably wondering what the heck is that and what I'm going to do is because I do like that aspect is that we are going to put in a door like this okay just for now now I definitely need to finish setting up computers and whatnot. There we go. Now something that I definitely want to do here is make sure that we do have AC units. little heaters like so and then for lighting now I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering what am I gonna do for lighting right now and basically I'm going to add this to that okay now a few things that I have to add in here because they weren't added in before are bathrooms Okay. There's the bathroom. And there's the bathroom. Okay. And then basically, what this is, is our lounge. Okay. And something that I want to do. a double so it's the door there the door there so now for the the for this section here I'm gonna add, do I want that no let's go ahead and sell this I want not that I need where is it? Water be up there, but I need where in the heck is it here? I need a fridge, and for some reason I'm not seeing it. There's a the fridge. Okay, I'm gonna add two fridges there. So let's go ahead do this need some lights light there let's go ahead and get ourselves window there and a window there okay now we need some toilets for people now something that I wish that they would actually bring into the game is like sinks and stuff like that 
so that way people can actually use the sinks to wash their hands. So there's that. So now something that, that I really want to check out is actually doing these little cubicles. Like so. I wonder how that would work out. that I want to add out here um, just to make it convenient for some of these guys and to spice up the room a little bit I'm definitely gonna add this for sure um, I do want some plants so that way it looks like I'm trying to take care of people a little bit I you guys are probably wondering by this this time what am I actually using to be able to place more items is I'm just holding down shift and it's basically allowing me to uh, place multiple items now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna wait until I have these people hired which I'm about to do here in a few minutes and actually have it to where that when I have them sitting in the area that they need to be sitting at, I'm gonna go ahead and place these. Uh
Skidder. Okay. Let's go ahead and get him specialized and everything. Got an amazing. But he doesn't do a very good job. So we're definitely going to have to go with this person here. It's got a 63.88%. So we're going to go ahead and hire him. Those guys aren't going to come in until tomorrow. And once they do come in, we'll go ahead and set these people up with their seats and have everything set up. Let's pause. Let's go ahead and get this one. This person actually assigned the furniture being used by employee. Okay. We're going to assign this one. into their chair closet because you're going to get assigned to that chair there we go now this person here let's look at their employment details so this one here is our designer okay so now that we have our designer set up and we know where she's going to be at this right pretty much what we're going to need to do is find what's going to be good for the designer. It doesn't really look like anything here is really going to do that to that. Here is who is our artist, so they definitely get one of those. And then employee details, you're my marketer, so you get a telephone. And then for me, I get a calculator. Okay, so there's no lead now, we're all just basically working together to achieve one in particular goal, and that's to finish odd plexity so let's go ahead and get that going so it definitely looks like we are on a good uh, fronting set so far was very amazed to actually make 1.5 million within you know the first year or so So we're definitely gonna have to keep keep drilling on and see if we can I don't know what do you guys think would be a really good endpoint uh, you know having you know 1 billion 2 billion 10 billion I'm gonna leave that up to you guys go ahead and let, leave that down in the comments for me let me know how long you think or what our goal should be now having a god out godly number like a hundred billion or things like that I think that's gonna take us a little long but in the end result it's up to you you guys let me know what you think and we'll go from there so this is definitely definitely taking a little while even with four people to actually push out this this amazing quality on an audio tool now something else that I'm really looking forward to is that we are almost up to 2 million. Almost back up to 2 million total. So this is definitely something that's good. Now something else I'm going to do right here is I'm going to hire some maintenance staff. Okay, so I want one cleaner, one maintenance, one IT. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and hire those guys. They're going to come in from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And let's keep pushing on. So 
so it definitely looks like we're getting pretty close to the end of the first stage of the designing phase of Oddplexity. So once that's ready, I'm going to go ahead and push it into development. So that way we can go ahead and get it set up and try to get this thing released. Hopefully, maybe we'll have it done by May of 1982. We can get it done. We're in 1982, January. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Almost. Oh man, looks like we're gonna be able to push it out in February. We go. We're gonna go ahead and develop it. So it does look like we are at two million. Just keep pushing along here. Now, something else that I, I want to do here real fast is because we're having to wait for them to arrive and take off from from the from the bus and I really don't want to wait on these guys. I want to make sure that they can get into the place that they need to get into without having any issues. So we're going to go ahead and add that parking lot if I didn't add the parking lot that it was no, wrong thing there we go so now these guys will be able to show up to work hopefully fine I believe yep it's kind of nice because they all kind of ride in the same you know vehicle and whatnot so that's really good Car pulling is very, very key when it comes to games like this, I guess. <laughs> so it definitely looks like the alpha stage is taking these guys a little long to get it pushed out. We did go past what I think would have been the latest that we would have been able to get things done, but we're still moving along. I'm going to go ahead and end this there. Maybe that'll help out a little bit on the progress of the alpha phase. Just basically taking it, you know, knocking down a little bit of the task of what really needs to be happened. It does look like we did have all my employees basically go on vacation. We're almost there, halfway through the alpha stage. Marketing was done for Oddplexity. Now it's time just to focus mainly on the alpha. Looks like we had Two people call in sick today. I tell you, people calling in sick is not always a good thing. Ready to promote it. Now the beta is coming out. They're fixing, fixing, fixing. Let's release it. Of course, we're going to market it. start so look at that we definitely made over two million dollars just on that odd look city now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and finish up this day and then I think that's gonna pretty much wrap up the end of this 
episode here. If you guys liked it, go ahead and smash that like button. Smash the subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. And until then, guys, I'll see you on the flip side.